Hello there, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to show you how you can integrate ML Power speech recognition engine directly in your own projects. So currently I'm showing you the demo from Hugging Face, but shortly I will show you how you can do this in your own front-end apps, in your React apps. But what exactly it is doing? So to do that, I'm going to record a demo and this will create an audio file and using that audio file will transcribe that purely in the browser so I will there are three methods and I'm going to hit the record button so just give me a moment I'll hit the start recording hello there I'm recording a demo that showcases how every developer can integrate ML powered speech recognition in their own react projects I stop the recording and I have this 14 second recording. I will play just to make sure everything works. Hello there. I'm recording a demo that showcases how this works. So what I'm going to do next is hit the button called load. And the next button I see is transcribed audio, which means that everything that transcription service will do will happen purely in the browser. So as I hit run, it loads the model and said it loads the model only once and if i continue to run it again it happens purely offline because the models have been downloaded so this is the transcription so as you can see this is what i said and it has been transcripted correctly i also got the notification that it produces 35 almost 36 tokens per second which is pretty fast and i have the ability to export it into json or text file as well now, as I mentioned that it downloads the model locally so that next time it doesn't re-download the model again to make sure that the power of those models are sitting right in the browser. And if you're making apps available to other users, once the model is downloaded, they can continue to integrate even in an offline mode. So before we do that, and let's do another demo to ensure that it is not really downloading another model. So I'm going to hit the record button again, start recording. All right, so this time this is the second recording and I want to ensure that you are not re-downloading the models from the internet. You're purely doing it from the models that are available in the browser. All set, I will preview. All right, so this time this is the second recording and I want to ensure that you're not... Sounds good, so I'm going to hit load. And transcribe so as you can see it's not downloading anything at, at this point in time and again 36 tokens per second and I got the entire transcription of my audio and also the time codes which is pretty fantastic if you're building apps where and you need to synthesize the user's voice and turn it into a text and also provide a transcoding service like this one all right so I mentioned that the models are downloaded locally so where are they so for that we are going to go developer tools and da, 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 more tools and then developer tools and we are going to look into application and then cache storage click on transformers this is where our models are sitting as you can see this is the content length so this is the length or the size of the model that has been downloaded how do we make sure that this is indeed the model that was downloaded? For that, I'm going to click here on this icon and you can see it's ONX Community Whisper 3 Large Turbo, which is exactly the model that has been downloaded. And it seems it is multilingual. I'm not going to test it in other language, but if you are a developer who is making apps in different language, your, your user speaks different language, here are a lot of options available to you. All right, fantastic. So I'm going to go back and just to make sure that this is caching, we have already done the, the demo. So now the, I've only shown you a demo, but how do you as a developer use this code in your own application? This is available in this code base called Whisper, Whisper Web. I'm going to clone this repository going to go local and I am going to clone this repo and I'm going to 
one cd whisper web i'm in the main repository main branch and i'm let me just open this in vs code i will show you how this looks like right now so this whisper web as you can see it's a react application it uses wheat build system it has a package or json file the important things are that it uses this transformers library as a dependency but this is on the main branch but the code that i showed you is not in the main line yet this is let me just go back this is in their experimental branch i saw that by clicking here so this is they have an experimental branch which is not visible here yet so let me just show you by clicking here so this is the experimental web gpu because it's, this demo was all web gpu demo so we need to create or check out this branch and run the code again so i'm going to click on main branch check out this branch which is experimental web gpu and you can see that now the dependency is no longer the other one but the hugging face transformers so let's run the dependencies here again so i'm going to run npm install so as you can see this is just another create react app for setup you can just clone this repository or this branch specifically and run it on your own machine so i'm going to run npm uh, run dev and as i do that this app is working running locally so as you can see i'm running this in my local machine and i have this in my local browser and i'm going to hit the record button again and test it out i'll hit start recording it asks for the permission which is a good thing you should always ask your users to to allow you to use the microphone i'll hit allow all right so this time i am showcasing a demo for uh, whisper web gpu by checking out the code base from the experimental branch installing all the dependencies using npm install and running this wheat app using npm run dev all right let's run I'll hit love. all right so this time i am showcasing a demo for uh, this looks good click load now this time uh, when i hit transcribe let's see what happens so it downloaded the model because this is on a different domain altogether and as you can see it created the timestamps and transcribed correctly and i'm getting almost 43 tokens per second now we can go to the developer console and look at the transformer cache for, uh, for this specific domain and now i have two different models here if i click here there are different models that i can use the default one is whisper base that we are using but i can also jump onto a larger model which is 16.1604 mb which is roughly 1.6 gigabytes all right so i hope that this was useful this is the code base that you can use whisper web uh, for under zenova organization and this is the demo on the web and this is the demo on your local happy to share this with you feel free to use this uh, repository created by them it's already public and i believe and it's under the mit license which means you are free to use it in your own commercial projects as well all right so fantastic i hope this that this was useful if you want to see more of these kind of videos or you have questions or concerns or you're confused with something related to the ai development or ai tools that can make you productive put down the comment below and we'll surely make out videos on that until next time keep drawing keep learning and i will see you soon